Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon. Oh, good grief. It's almost evening. Um, I was making some little flowers here, and so I thought, well, I will go ahead and I'm sure most everybody already knows how to make a little fabric flower, but I'm just going to show you how I'm doing mine. I want mine to look primitive. Now, this one here, I cut the fabric with the pinking shears. I love that plaid. That is very primitive looking. Um, so I made some like that. But these ones here, I'm tearing the fabric. Let's see. I'm um, tearing the fabric for this one. And I'm tearing my fabric to be about three quarters of an inch um, in width. This is some tough fabric, let me tell you. Okay, and then what I do is I um is I, I tear it rather than cut it on these particular ones here. These ones I cut with the pinking shears. Um, and then I take one edge of it and I I go ahead and I pull off some of the threads, the, the threads um to make it to make it um, like on the edge, then you see how it's kind of shabby on the edge. So I just pull those threads off of the one edge and that kind of leaves that whole edge just a little bit shabby. Um, I take about six inches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm just, this is going to be a little bit less than six, but that way I can get two flowers out of that little piece. So you don't have much fabric at all. And then I have a threaded needle here. Oh, let me cut that salvage edge off. Now, and then what I do is I go ahead and put right sides together, and I actually make a little seam to on where I just put them right sides together to sew it into it's going to be a loop then see and so I just kind of whip stitch it around just to sew that edge together and and then I'm going to make a knot right here only because when I pull it then when I pull to gather it, then it's not going to pull this part. So now what I have is I have just a little circle, a little ring. You could probably glue it together, but I just go ahead and stitch. And then I just do a running stitch. Some people call it a boro stitch, but it, I just it's just a running stitch You're in and out. And I go all the way around, not the part that I you know, I leave the part that I um, shredded, that I pulled the string. Actually, on this piece, either side would have looked just fine. But, um, and I'm just going to go all the way across that one edge. Doesn't take long because I've only got five and a half, six inches of fabric here. The more you have, the more gathered it will be the more fluffy maybe it would be. But I, for this project, I don't actually want it to be real. I don't want it to be real thick. And so then I got that all the way. I have that all the way now. Did that run and stitch all the way. And so then I just kind of pull it, gently pull it to get that kind of tight there in the middle. See, and there you basically have your flower right there. And with that shabby edge all the way around, it's very, very pretty. And so then I then I put a couple stitches inside here where I'm just kind of holding the loop together. So the, you know, it just kind of holds the bottom holds it together so it's not going to peek a hole in the bottom, you know, in the middle, you know. I don't want it to look like a donut. I want it to look like a biscuit. You don't have no hole in it. 
So that kind of makes sure that I don't have that hole. And because I want these to look quite primitive for the project I'm going to use them on, I'm going to pick a button that I have some Voro buttons. Let's see, I have, I want to, I want to, find a button that is that looks vintage. I call them all war buttons because that one is really cool, but it's real thick. Or is that two stuck together? Oh, it was two stuck together. Let me see. Now I'm going to use that one. I'm going to save that one out too because and these one I believe are very vintage, but my word Vora, V-O-R-A, is is made, I made up that word because, because a lot of things, I don't know if they're vintage or if they're just old or if they're retro or if they're antique. They might even be primitive. I don't know. I don't know the difference. Some people can look at something and they'll tell you. That's vintage. I don't know that stuff. So I made up my new word. It's Vora. So, you know, Vora is is if you're not sure. You just know it was made before today. So I'm putting that on in the center of this of this um, flower. Almost looks like a, maybe a black-eyed Susan something. You can name your flowers whatever you want to name them because they're your flowers and so then I just stitch the flower on I mean the button onto the center of the flower and then just tie a, a, a little knot in the back to keep that button on there and and that's how quickly that flower that's finished now. See, I've got this, I have this, um, this is, this is going to be a very vintagey, old, um, looking journal that I'm working on. I've got some very vintage pictures in here. We'll call them, I think I can call these vintage. I think they really are. And, um, and so I have a lot of things in this journal. It's going to be awesome. I just know it is. But I want to decorate the front because I used this here picture for the for the cover, and um, but it comes in this folder already. So I'm not real sure how I'm going to decorate it, but I'm I'm somehow going to have some flowers. A cluster of flowers. I'm not sure yet exactly how I'm going to do. You see, this one kind of came apart again. So that one, I'll, if I do use that one, I'll cover that up. But I'm not sure I like that button in the center of that one. I think I like these ones better. But I'm going to be decorating this, this cover up. And I'm going to be using some of these flowers somehow. I'm not sure yet exactly. I might find a mixture. I, I don't know. We'll see what what actually happens. And um but for right now and look at this you can even layer if I was to sew them together before I put the button on that one and you layer it together how pretty that that is. And so but anyhow those are those buttons and I want to try something different. Now this this um as I was looking through my fabrics I um I have so many beautiful pieces that will make beautiful flowers, just beautiful. I'm just telling you, just because you know you don't really even look at the whole piece of fabric, you just kind of look at, just look at what what would a strip look like, you know, and look at this here, you know, just even pieces of fabric, and so, and then here this one is, uh, have some more brighter colors in it. And how pretty those ones will make. That This will make such pretty flowers. And so, but then I also found in my scrap collection a piece. This was sent to me by my friend Joy. She sent me some little pieces. I really should need to press this. But um, I'll cut off this side. But when I looked at this, I thought, well, she was so sweet. She had so many, she had a lot of 
old things like this. And she goes, I'm going to just cut them apart. And I'm going to share them with you. And which is so awesome. And so what I want to do with this one now, it's got this beautiful, um, like tatted edge. Let's see, where does it start? It starts right there where it starts coming apart a little bit. And so I'm going to take and I'm going to cut. It's like a muslin. The fabric is like a muslin. So I'm just going to cut this and go around. See, it doesn't have to be straight. I can, I can, It will work with it even being like that round there. But I have a feeling. But see now, even this fabric, even just this part of it, see, oh, it does. It's, it, the threads come off nicely. And so, but now... This one will be different because this is going to be the outside edge. So now, now that I've lost my needle, oh, here's one. It's not the one I had, though, but I, eh, it'll work. I better get a different piece of thread on there, though, because this one wouldn't be long enough. I'll put this thread, though. I'm saving these threads because I'm fixing to do a challenge that is going to need these threads in it of this paper of paper. But anyway, for right now, I am staying on focus. I'm trying to stay focused here. This morning, now see, this is like morning to me, even though it's almost five o'clock. This morning I had an appointment. I had to go get some blood work done. Well, I have been, that. this makes the third time I've left the house since this whole carnivore, whatever it is, thing started. And I don't leave. One time I left just to pick up some yarn. One time I left because I had to go to Walgreens. I couldn't send somebody else after these items I had to pick up. And so, and this is the third time I left. And it's only because I had to do some blood work. And, um, and, and nobody else can do that for me either. So, so yeah, I went out this morning and the hubster brought me up to, to the doctor's office where they so they could draw my blood and oh I'm telling you I have this problem with anxiety anyway I don't know if any of you have anxiety it's just I feel for you because it it's scary it's just scary and so because I'm not out there much when I do get out in the road and in the traffic it just boggles me it's just I start shaking my my heart just starts beating so fast. It's just, it's a horrible feeling. And I hadn't had my coffee yet because, you know, I had to be fasting. And so it was next to miserable. So by the time I got home, then I ate breakfast and then I just went back to bed. I was just feeling terrible. Now, see, I got that sewed. I got sewn. Um got together. So now I'm going to go with the in and out, in and out stitch. So yeah, I just went back to bed then. I just, well, I was up most all of the night anyway, because I got, I couldn't sleep. So I was making masks last night. And um, so, because I can quietly make masks and not bother the hubster. And so I only had an hour of sleep because right, it was like 6 o'clock and I knew I wanted to get up at 7 to get in the shower and get ready to go. And and then oh, I can't believe it's like the traffic just, and it wasn't that bad, the traffic, but every car that passed by me, I think my heart went another beat faster. It just, so I tried to focus on my phone and just play a little game on the phone. I couldn't even do that. It was so scary. And so I don't know. I have to work on myself to get to where I'm not so anxious when I go out because I can see myself turning into a real, oh, I don't know what. Okay, so now I've got that pulled tightly. And look at how that edging made that flower look. Isn't that pretty? And that looks very, very, very primitive. I love that look. And, um, and 
Now, if you use like a muslin fabric, just muslin, to make these flowers, and then put a um, older looking button in the middle, you know, get the old, um, what do they call it, like a tortoise looking thing. That's probably not the right word either, but, and you really have a primitive, you know, a primitive look to your flower. And so now I'm going to just kind of, kind of hold that center together, just a few stitches, just to make sure that center stays together. Don't poke your finger because that hurts. Now on this one, let's see. Since I have, oh, that's so pretty. And I have some more, two pieces that's got an edging on like that. I'm going to use that edging up. Look at this. I'm going to take this one first and iron that with my iron because it's a little folded. But I will be able, wow, I wonder if I could, I might be able to take this piece right here because that's so pretty. And if I cut that somehow, and do some stitching around that. Put that on the corner. Oh, I'm getting some ideas for my journal. Now I don't even know where I put it now. Oh, there it is. Because what if I was to just have that in the corner? That piece, that's pretty. Okay, I'll think about that one. I have to give that one some more thought. Okay, so I'm going to find a button. This one here, I don't want to use. Oh, I could though. I could. That does look not bad. I was thinking more of a smaller. Something a little bit smaller. And this one is yellow. No, that wouldn't go. It's too... I'm, I'm into something a little more dark. And that one... Now see? So I'm, oh, I'm, I really have been overthinking things and Look at this button. How awesome is that? Hmm. I'm going to be making a lot more but a lot more flowers like this too. Oh, this one. Um I am planning an auction soon, an online auction. I've got a few things that um I want to find new homes for and so I'm getting things together for my auction. And, um, but I also want to have a few of my handmade embellishments, which some of them will be like some of these flowers. I might make like a collection of six flowers and, you know, sell them as a, as a set. Um, I've got some journaling pockets and tags that I'm working on. I've got, um, well, a few things. Plus, I've just got things that I'm I'm going to part with. And um, all I need to all I need to earn is enough to pay my land taxes, and I'm good. <laughs> then I'm good till I get my next bill. <laughs> no, it's I. Um, even if I didn't have my auction, I'd still have plenty. But but isn't this pretty? Now I love this one. This. And this is using using the edge, and it's not even a straight piece of fabric. It was already curved. And so, isn't that pretty? That is beautiful. I love this. And so, I'm going to be playing around with these flowers, and I'm going to... I'm going to be playing around with these flowers. I'm going to, I'm going to be um, reminding you that I'm going to be doing an auction just, and I don't have a date set yet, but see how pretty. Now look at these. I think they're beautiful. Maybe you can see them better if I put them on the black. I, I just think they're beautiful. I, and just using fabrics like this and just different I, I just, I love them, but then I love anything that is, like, primitive and that kind of thing. Let me see. I'm looking, I've got a box here of fabrics. 
Um, it, oh, look at, see here, look at that piece. Look at that piece right there. That will make a beautiful flower just using that edge. And, um, oh, I'm sure I have more. Oh, my God. Oh, and look at this. This is like an eyelet. It's got like an eyelet lace on the end. And this is long enough. So if I were to cut it just above this, the eyelets in there, that would be a perfect flower. And then even the fabric that's in with that before the edging. And look at this. Oh, my gosh. I've got way too much. Look. Look at this. I'm going to have some very beautiful flowers out of these. These are going to make beautiful flowers. Thank you, Joy. Oh, my God. These are beautiful. Oh, this is going to go on my piece that I'm working on. And so, oh, God, look at that. Look at this. Now, if I were to cut that just right there at right at this edge, then I'd be about an inch. It'd make a little bit bigger of a flower. This is all tatted. That's tatted right there. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. These are gorgeous. And so, oh, this is, I started making a prayer flag here on this this is a piece I just started. It's it's going to be a prayer flag. And, um, oh, my gosh. So I have plenty. I have so much. So, oh, this is just, I just, once I start looking through fabric scraps, man, I can just go crazy. It's just, it's like being in a candy store. But look at that. This is going to make a beautiful flower. I'm not going to make any more on this video. But I do want to just share one thing. I got today some... I got Happy Meal today, and this is amazing. That All these three in one day, plus I got what I ordered, my erasers. I'm so excited to have all these erasers. I got ten erasers. Well, I only have nine because I gave one to the hubster. He only gets one. I get the other nine. That's splitting them half in two. So I got them in the mail today. I was happy to get them. But now this here, I got this this tag come in this envelope all the way from Australia and it come from Vicky Dupos and um and and here on the bag it says tag you're it now my husband got one too the hubster papa got one too from Vicky he has a tag so what I'm going to do now is I'm it. So that means I have to make a tag and send it. So I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be making tags, some tag your it tags, and I'm going to pass them forward to, I'm going to pass them forward. And so if you get, a, if you get a tag from me and it says tag your it, that means you need to make a tag and pay it forward. Don't send it to me. Send it to somebody. Send somebody this tag. And look how beautiful it is. I love this stamp she's got on there. That is just beautiful. Tag your it. it. She comes from the Intuitive Healing Art Creations, April of 2020. Um, keep safe, keep loving, grace and peace, Vicki and Gian. Graham. Graham. Maybe that's Graham. Okay. That must be her hubster. And so, but this is so fun because I love these when they come from another country and I have this little, um, the custom paper on there. That That's fun to put in, in your journals too. Okay. And I didn't open this one yet. This is from Jackie Newton. And I'm going to look at, she decorated the envelope. And so I'm going to open that one right now, and I'm going to see what kind of a treasure is in here. She says non-machinable, so it's it's more than just a hello, how are you note. Okay, let's see if I can get this open without tearing up my envelope. Oh, here what I can do is I can just, I'm always afraid to do much cutting, you know, because I don't want to wreck what's ever in there what's ever in there so I'm very careful and there we go now oh oh my goodness Jackie 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 
Oh, look. Butterflies, paper clip. Is there something? Does that open? Oh, she put some goodies inside of here. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, how nice. Oh, these are like vellum, the um, the pieces. Oh, first of all, the butterflies are amazing. And look at this, just the butterflies like this, how pretty that will be as a pocket in a journal. And then on here, these are like die cuts, but they're made from like vellum. Memories. Oh, I wonder if that will show up on this. That will be nice. This right here on my journal. And just it just enough just to show up. Conversation. How pretty. And and just different shapes. A little moon, a little cloud, little balloons, a camera. What does this say here? It says unity. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm. Hmm. That's a L T L Y. Um. Now I don't know what that says. Oh, I wonder if this goes to it. I wonder if this goes to it. Currently, yes, that goes with that, and then it says currently. And so, how nice. Thank you. Thank you for those. Okay, I'm going to put those back in here because they're so delicate. I don't want to lose them, and I don't want to. But the memories, that's going to be used on that journal for sure. See, that is going to be perfect. Now, these are nice. These are beautiful. And I've never seen this. I don't know if she cut them out herself on the vellum. That has to be tedious. And, um, oh, and look at all the smiley faces. I don't think we ever have too many smiley faces. And then in here we have butterfly stickers and Cupid is stupid. Oh, no. <laughs> Llama be your lover. Oh, these are like, like, um, <laughs> these are so cute. They're Llama love. Girl power, these are cute. And they're little. They're little, so they'll be fun on um, small things like ATC cards. And I think they're like like um, Valentine and anything, you know, because you love all year long. And then the but butterflies. They are beautiful. They are just beautiful. My light kind of glares on them because they're... They're um, metallic. They're like a mirror. And then she sends me, oh, thank you for all the kindness you bring to the world. Isn't that nice? A few things I hope you can use. Oh, thank you so much, Jackie. That is so kind. That is so kind, Jackie. When I send off something, though, you know, she's thanking me for something I sent to her, but I don't ever expect any kind of a return. When I send you something, it's yours, and you don't, you know, I like to know that you received it. That's one thing. But, you know, usually everybody receives what you send them. So I don't, sometimes I forget. Okay, now this one was from Beetle Chick. Now, Beetle Chick has sent me many beautiful things over the years. Oh, and there, look, just a minute, let me get these out of here. And, um, look at, there she is. There she is in her, in their little beetle car. Oh, this is, this will be fun to make a page, a beetle chick page. <coughs> I love her car. Look at that. Definitely, definitely flower power. And then look at this. Now, does that open? Yes, it does. Look at that. Is this a book page? It is. It's a book page. And she made a card using the book page. Isn't that amazing? That's beautiful. Look at all the journaling area, then, that is even on this. This is amazing. I love the little 
uh, flowers in like the little teapot, not a teapot, but you know, a pitcher. I have got a one of the blue enamel speckled pitchers. It sits out on my front porch because I've got an old cast iron stove out there, just a small one, and it's got a little blue cast iron pitcher sitting on it. I love the look, you know, again, my vintage old antiques look. I love it. I see it every time I look in the mirror, you know. Oh, and look at this. Okay. Now I would say that this is an ATC. Um, created by Beetle Chick, got idea from Tacy Turner. Tracy has given me a lot of ideas too. But look at that. That's like a jar. It's it's, it's like an ATC size, but it's cut like a jar. And then she's got a belly band on it. And another jar that fits right inside of there. And then this picture of the rose with a butterfly, both sides. And that is so pretty. And so it's like a... Uh, like an ATC threesome. It's all these parts in it. Okay, and then here's a small one done the same way. Look at that. Now, see, Tracy sent me some. They're, they're shaped like a wine bottle, and she made them this way. Oh, look at that one's got frog on it. My little frogs. I love my little frogs. Created by Beetle, Beetle Chick, got the idea from Tracy Turner. And see, so that's a neat, a nice, I love it when I get something and they are, you, and then you um, write on the back to where it, so I know where it came from. Because I might put this down and then not look at it for a while and then forget when I, um, oh, and look at there. And then she's got just. A stack of papers to use for journaling spots or whatever, but it is a jar full. It's a whole jar full. Well, there's a frog in the jar, as you can see, and then all these little pieces that just are right there inside. And I love that. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this is, I am just overwhelmed with the beauties, beautiful things. And I just love your little car. And I have, this one, I don't even really have to write on it because I know that beetle chick. But, but you know, my memory's getting so bad. Oh my word. My memory's just getting, it's just so bad. I don't remember where I put my pencil here. I'm going to write here on beetle chick. That way I remember where this come from. And then this I'm going to, you know what I'm going to put? I'll just put BC, B chick. And then that way I know where this idea came from. And um, this is really, really awesome. Now, let me see. Just Okay, so I know that this, this one I have to put... Um, See, already I got to look at her name and I know her name as well as I know my own. Jackie Newton. So I have to do these things now for my, my memory. It's just getting so bad. I come in here the other day and um, I had my phone. I plugged my cord in my... See this little... That was in Happy Mail, but I don't remember who sent it to me. This little unicorn that holds my cord still. I come in, I plugged my cord in, into my phone, and then I had this end in my hand like this. And I sit here with my phone like this, this in my hand, and I did not know what to do with this. It just, and I, I looked at it and I did not know what to do with it. And I started crying, just like instant. I had tears dripping off my chin because I did not know what to do with this. I knew it had to plug in somewhere. And I just looked at it and I looked at it and I did not know. I didn't have a clue. And so then I, my eye caught my little charger thing here that I put stuff in. And then I remembered, oh, I got to plug it in that charger thing. And so then I knew, but I didn't know. I had no clue of what I was supposed to do with that. And that lasted for about two minutes that I did not 
have a clue of what um, what I needed to do with that. Let's see now I moved all my I'm making tags out of my my um, papers I made the other day. I'm gonna make tags, so I'm working on that. And um, oh. <laughs> She says, I sure miss you on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Here's a frog here's a frog hiding in the envelope. <laughs> the old chick writes that. Oh, I gotta put that right here with this. There's a frog hiding in the envelope. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so that's about it for this video. Um I'm gonna be making another video in just a little while for today's did I write today's challenge down yet? Oh, I didn't write it down yet, but it's Faux, faux handmade paper. First I said, oh, I don't think I'm going to do this one. But then I started watching the video where Treasured Books, I think it is, is did a video. And she shows how she's doing hers. And I said, you know, maybe I can do that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to get my things together in a little while. And I'm going to, in a little while, before I go to bed, I'm going to make a video. Maybe I'll make a couple flowers here before I actually do that. But let me give you, um, you know what I'm going to do here? I got these cards too. I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to pull one, one of these. Um, these all have different sayings on them too. I've been throwing some of these into Happy Meals and stuff. This, oh, dang, glasses. Okay, let's see. Oh, glasses, there they are. Now, okay, here it says from James 2, 22, his faith and his actions were working together and his faith was made complete by what he did. And on the other side, it says, I can face the waves for I trust the one who made the ocean. I can face the waves, for I trust the one who made the ocean. And that is, that's good. I love these little cards. They got little cats all over them. They're adorable. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Staying till the end. Um, thank you so much. And thank you for watching me open up my happy meal. That's amazing. And I'll see you shortly on another video. God bless and keep every one of you. May he watch every step you take, every move you make. And stay safe. Stay safe. And God bless.